I'm going to showcase a few features of the meeting extensions form. It can be used for creating or editing records. So let me go ahead and try to create a record in my buildings table here. So I'll just go ahead and open up that form. And then I'll give the name, let's say Woodside. And then uh, for you know linked records, you can select existing records, but in this case, I'll just go ahead and create a new linked record. So let me give it a name here, let's say Woodside one, and then I'll select some tenants for it. And I'll give it some monthly rent. I'll just go ahead and submit here. And we'll just give it a couple of more things and submit. So once submitted, you can go back to Airtable and this is all live. You'll see that this record was added in my buildings table and the unit that I created is added right here. Now, another feature of the mini extensions form is the ability to edit records. And we give you a formula where you can go ahead and just get a button. When you click on it, it'll take you to a URL for that particular record and you can just immediately edit that record. So if I make an edit like, let's say I change the build date here and I submit, you'll see that the build date was instantly updated. The second feature that we have is a portal. So you can use the form with a login screen on top of it. So I have some tenants here and let's say I want to have the ability for them to log in and be able to change their information. So what you would get is a login page. I'll just show you the login page right here. And what you would do is grab a person's email and you can customize this login page as you want and put whatever fields you want to have on that page. And just in general for the form and everywhere else, you have a lot of customizability on which fields you want to add and what which ones are editable versus read only and all, all sorts of uh, ability to customize in that way. So I'll just go ahead and log in here as Chloe and then I'll grab this password right here and then I'll just go ahead and log in. So once logged in, the person will be able to edit that record. So in this case, let's say testing notes here and then I'll go ahead and submit just to show you what that looks like. And then I'll go to Airtable and you'll see that that person's record was immediately changed. Now, keep in mind that when that person logs in, they cannot access any of the other people's records. They can only access their own records. I'm just going to refresh here to show you a couple of more features in, in, in this. So we also support, for example, uh, um, lookup, lookup field. So this is actually a lookup field in Airtable. So if you go here to unit pictures, you see that it's a lookup field. So it, it, it does depend on the linked record field. And I just wanted to show you um, that if you select particular, if you change those linked records, these lookup fields are instantly shown to you. So that's mostly it that I wanted to cover today. There's a lot more features and many more customizations. If you have any feedback, would love to hear it. 